viewer. Hunter S. Thompson's widow wants to keep the journalist's legacy alive in a bizarre way. Anita Thompson, who married Hunter two years before he committed suicide in 2003, plans to clone and sell his marijuana. Anita shared this post on her Facebook saying that she has held on to six of the authentic Gonzo strains from his personal reserve for the past 12 to 15 years and has found a way to clone it and sell it in states where marijuana is legal. The widow, which took over ownership of Hunter's property this summer, is also planning on turning the Woody Creek property in Colorado, Owl Farm, into a writer's retreat and museum. Colorado is one of the eight states in the country which has made adult recreational use of marijuana legal in some form. For Viewer, I'm Susanna Victoria Perez.